Hi Ish, um, so lovely to see you. Um, unfortunately, you have some bad news. Bad news. Oh, good news, bad news. Yeah, I mean, I keep that quiet. Is it filming, John? Is it catching us? Yeah, but like, yeah, yeah. The, the bad news was that I had to leave my town. Why? Because of all the Muslims finding out about my faith. And How did they find out? They probably found out because it's, it's spreading from, obviously, some people saw my videos. And it was spreading from like people to people to people. They were just spreading it around. Did you tell your family you left Islam? Yeah, I told them I left Islam. So, but like obviously because of like me preaching Jesus, me preaching against Islam, because some people did not know that I became a Christian in my family, or some oh, like your, your extended family. Yeah, or, or some, or, or some, yeah. or some like. I don't want anyone to trip over my back. Oh, oh, down, John. Yeah, all my, all my like other people that I used to chill with, they didn't know. But obviously, when they found out the news spread to them, like I just knew it wasn't safe for me. Sometimes I was going around my town, people swearing at me, cussing me out. You know, so it wasn't safe for me, so I had to pretty much leave. So I was pretty much like, I pretty much didn't really have a job. You know, I pretty much had to leave with nothing. I just left with like just my 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 clothes and everything. And then yeah, like this. It won't take that long. Yeah, yeah. So I was going from so I didn't I then moved to another place, and I was going from one place to another. Yeah. So you know, that's that's what I'm doing, just going from one place to another and like just preaching the word of the, the Lord and yeah, the Lord has been providing for me. I've seen so many I've had so many experiences where I've seen the Lord providing for me. I've seen the Lord not abandon me. Even though like my family can say so many things about me, the Lord is always there for me. You know, Amen. He's always there for me and he's uh, I've seen the body of Christ. They've helped me so much. My brothers and sisters in Christ, Christian brothers, they've helped me so much. And I've seen the love in the Christian brothers. With my Islamic brothers and sisters, I've I've seen no love, but these people, they only knew me for a while and they showed me so much love and I really appreciate that. And a lot of people have been coming up to me and saying, you know, oh, you left Christianity, it's not, you don't really know it's the truth, you just left for the sake of it. Yeah. You don't, you, you, you don't, you don't know nothing about Christianity, but my main, my main thing I want to say to my Muslim brothers and sisters who are watching this, are you really a Muslim because you think it's true? Or are you a Muslim because of your pride and honor? You don't want to leave it behind. Are you really a Muslim because you think it's true or because your forefathers are Muslim? A lot of people do not want to leave Islam because they are stuck with it because of the family. They know if they leave Islam, it will, it will ruin their reputation, it will ruin their honor. Which is why you see many people are, are sticking with Islam even though they know it's, uh, they know it's false. And yeah, um, I just would like to request my brothers and sisters as well to, like, um, to seek out the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, like, is Muhammad really real? Ask yourself a question, how do you know Muhammad Jesus is real? Jesus is the Antichrist. How do you, how do you know the Quran? How do you... How do you know the Quran is John, Yeshua. it up the video. You have a Mexican savior. Um, you say John. Jesus is God. Sorry. How how do you know the Quran is the is the true word of Allah? Jesus. You know, there's only one truth. Is it Hinduism? Is it Buddhism? What is the truth? You have to seek it out. And Jesus Christ was the only man to say, no, I am the truth. You're on crack way, you think the, the truth and the Messiah had a, the truth had a Mexican name. They think the Messiah had a Mexican name. Okay. So, um, you know, do you feel... You look like the clown from The Simpsons. You look like the clown from The Simpsons. Do you feel hopeful? I feel hopeful. The Lord, the Lord has always been with me. The Lord is. I don't know, 100 pounds. The Lord, the Lord has always, the Lord has always been there for me. I've seen Him provide for me. I felt His presence. I've, I've been feeling His peace. You know, and like nothing can stop me from denying the truth. Nothing can stop me from denying the truth. I know it's true. It's to reassure you. You know, the Bible says if we lose our home on earth, we have a home in heaven. And Jesus Himself went through homelessness. He said that even the Son of Man does not have a place to lay. Crucified. Crucified. Guy, I, I a Mexican, Mexican guy named Jesus was crucified. No, Johnny, leave it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call you to repent, sir. No, so, you know, repent. this, no, this no, young... You are a saint. John, this young, this young man, Muslim, he left Islam, became a Christian, his family kicked him out. You're and he, he doesn't sir. care. You're he faced homelessness. Sir. And difficulty, but because Jesus is God, we need to win. Yes, yes, this is this is true. I I had to leave Islam, my friends, because I found out that it was not the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. My question is, people, how do you know? You <laughs> uh, Yeah, hello. My question is, how do you know Islam is the truth? Are you a Muslim because it's true or because your forefathers were Muslims? So how do you know Islam is the truth? Because Islam is the fact. Everything about Islam is the fact. Yeah? yeah.
if you make searching during this all life, always you find the fact in the Quran. Yeah? Always. And is the Quran the word of Allah or is it the word of Muhammad? He could, I'll show you. I'll show you. He said Muhammad is illiterate that he could not read or write. I want to show you something right now, brother. Madam, he left everything, you know, his family, everything, because he found the truth. Because he received the Holy Spirit. What Islam said, if we don't believe of Isa, alayhi salam, we are not Muslim. If we are, we are not believe of Musa, alayhi salam, we are not Muslim. Yeah. But madam, do you realize that the Isa of the Bible and the Isa of the Quran, they are not the same story? Well, they're the same story, the only difference is... So brother, uh, so, sorry, you, you said Muhammad couldn't read or write, right? It says it in Sahih Bukhari, Ibn Abbas said, when the element of the Prophet became worth, he said to me, bring for me a writing paper and I will write for you a statement which you will not go astray. So Muhammad was able to write. Muhammad was able to write. Can you read Arabic? Um, yes. Okay. Can we show you in Arabic, if possible? I'm here. I'm not coming to you. I'm your dog. The thing is, I read the Quran. I can show you. I have the Quran in my bag highlighted. And the Quran says, Okay, hold on. Okay, this is Hadith. So, so Sahih Hadith, they are authentic. They're from Bukhari. Bukhari was a reliable source. He, okay, so he said, no, no, I'm sorry. Because he said Muhammad was illiterate, couldn't read or write. And I showed you he could write. It's not about not reading and writing, but he's not someone is high educated, yeah. And even there are like now there are some people they write it, not whole. There are some people they do the poem, not whole, because the miracle of Quran is the language, the Arabic language is. What I meant by couldn't read and write is that. But you said he couldn't. You said he couldn't read or write at all. He's illiterate, and I showed you he could write. Now why you ask that? You didn't say that, did he? Wait, wait. Why you ask this question? No, no, I'm just asking. No, 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 no. Why you ask? Because he asked me if Muhammad could read no, no, it right no, no. or not. Why you right? ask? Because he said Muhammad. No, no, you are yes. stuck. Yes. Muhammad is from me. It's a contradiction. No, no, no. Why you ask that first? What is the, the meaning? You're talking about Islam. Yeah. Not okay, Muhammad. I know, I know, I know. I, I agree, but I just want to do show him that he was wrong. But okay. I know. Okay. That was. These were the words of Muhammad. These were Muhammad narrating his verses. They're writing them down. Then Bukhari got these hadiths and gathered them up. Not about the writing the reason. Even if Muhammad is in high educated, he will never ever can write the Quran like what you are meaning. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Because so, the miracle of Quran is even right now they cannot discover a lot of ayah. Ayah of Quran is coming. Can I show you? So, the main person who got these revelations was Muhammad, right? Yes. Then he got these revelations, then wrote them up. But so he was no, he had revelations from the angel Gibrail, yeah. right? Then he had his companions, his Sahabas, and these Sahabas were the you one know, writing Quran, down by the parchments, right? By by no, 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 they were given. No, no, no. The Quran, then they wrote it down. They wrote it down. It was written after he died. Yes, yes, I know. That's written what I'm down in when Abu Bakr al-Siddiq after yes. Muhammad sallallahu okay. alaihi wasallam died, died yeah? okay. and the Quran is coming to us by memorizing. But is it? Is it really? Is it? Can I? Okay. I want to show you something. Can you trust? Can you can you trust a man who was possessed by black magic? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You're changing the subject now. Let's see what the lady is saying. No, why say? Quran happens by fatha damma kasra. We can no one can change one word because not one word like like. The vowels, the yeah? you know the vowels. If we change fatha with kasra, which means a to e, the meaning is gonna different. I agree. Yeah? With that. This okay. is the miracle. Okay. That's why never ever anyone can change the meaning of the Quran. Yeah. Okay, but this is the miracle. okay, auntie, auntie. This is the 
But you have to go back to how the crown was formed. And the way how these crown was formed was Angel Gibrail came to Muhammad and told him to recite surahs, right? Which Muhammad then recited it, these Sahabas then memorized it, then later on they went to write it. But so we have to go back to the original. How long? Wait, so, how long so we, we. I'm not, I'm, not say, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I, I confess they memorized it. But all I'm saying is, do you, do you really believe it was Allah who gave these revelations or was it a demon who gave them the revelation? Not because demon, I, believe, Allah. I, believe it was, I believe it was a demon who gave no, Muhammad these revelations. How, how can the no, demon come? I, I tell you why. How I'll tell you why. Can, no, how can the because demon come? it says here, Demon means okay. Because it says it, magic. It says it, magic was work on Allah's messenger, so that he used to think he has sexual relation with his wife while he had not. In Sahih Bukhari, magic was worked on Allah's messenger. So that he used to think he has sexual relation with this was while he had not. How can you trust a man who was possessed by black magic? Listen, listen, listen. Do you think the shaitan is stronger than Allah? Yes, the Bible says the demon can come as an angel of light. The demon can counterfeit God. And the Bible says it. If anybody preaches a gospel, even an angel, let them be accursed. Which is what we see happen to Muhammad. He copied God. I'll tell you, madam. Yeah, but he copied God. Before they go, madam. Madam, before you go, can I, excuse me, can I tell you my answer before you go? So, in the Bible, the prophets, they received the Holy Spirit. Okay, and then, and then they spoke. It wasn't an angel that spoke. No, no, no. No, 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 I will go. Just, I will take one word. I said, did you know how many times the Bible is changing? It hasn't been changed, madam. It hasn't been changed, madam. It was a demon that spoke to Muhammad. 